Welcome back to databases. In this lecture, we are going to look at data modeling using entity relationship diagrams. First, let's get an overview of the phases of database design. As we've already discussed, the goal of database design is to create a formal model of the relevant aspects of the real world. And in this process, the real world serves as a measure of correctness. The database states that our design permits should correspond to states of the real world. Such a database design is really challenging because it requires expertise in the domain that we are modeling. It requires flexibility in the design because the real world often allows for exceptional cases and these should also be captured in our design. And finally, these designs can get very large so the pure size makes it also challenging. Due to the complexity, the database design is a multi-step process. The first phase is the conceptual database design. Here we decide what information do we want to store, how are the information elements related to each other, what constraints do we want to impose. And as a main tool in this phase, we will use entity relationship diagrams or UML models. The next step is the logical database design. Here we take the conceptual design and we translate it into a schema supported by the database. In our case, this will be the relational model. So we translate the conceptual design into basically tables. The next step of the design is the physical database design. Here we optimize indices, decide on table distributions, buffer sizes, disk layout, and so on. The goal of this step is to maximize the performance of the final system. In this course, we will be looking at the first two steps of database design, and we will leave the third step of the physical design to the database management system. 